Most people that try to build an American Lung Association home never pass because their insulation isn't tight enough. So the only things that need to breathe are things with lungs. I heard that at a building science conference like 25 years ago. A house doesn't have lungs. If it does, it's the heating and air system. So if you insulate really well, awareness needs to go to the heating and air man. If he's not coming in and going, holy crap, you foam this or you've made all this tight, you've got an R50 in the attic instead of an R30. He needs to change his focus from, can I get them to 70 degrees? Because that's going to be easy now. But now he's got to worry about humidity. So you get a heating and air man who is in a super insulated house, he turns all his focus to humidity. And that's what you want. If you have a heating and air guy that he has a rule of thumb, every, every so many square feet you get a ton of air, then you don't want that heating and air man. You want a guy that knows, okay, what direction is the house facing? What color is the roof? What's the exterior? What's the color of the exterior? Is it setting out in an open field like this one is where the wind is gonna destroy this house? Or is it completely covered by trees where you're not gonna have as much wind? All that stuff goes into play when designing that heating and air system. So you want a heating and air man that's asking all that information and finding that out, because then he's actually trying to design you the best system.